Hello and welcome to my video blog, Programming with Delphi. Today I will show you why you should change the message dialog if you use FireMonkey, because it has a very serious problem and I have something prepared here. I open this project. You see here a simple dialog with uh, two buttons and uh, let's look what's behind the yes and no button. You see here a call of the message dialog. This is a test with a yes and no button and then the line break are all buttons visible. Uh, we use a T message type warning and here we have included the T message dialog button yes and no. So, and let's run this um, little program and see what happens. So as expected, we have the two buttons, yes and no, so all is fine. But now look at this, at this second button. Here is a, this is a test with a yes, yes all and no button. And we use again the warning type dialog and the MBS, MBS to all and MB no button. And again, let's run this. No, yes and no, yes all buttons. Only one OK button. And strange also there is an close button available. So whatever you click the X or the OK, the result is undefined. Yeah, what happens with your source after this, that will be more or less random. But we have here also another program. I start this again and I uh, start this program on an other monitor. I have here a high monitor system. Uh, this is the high monitor and normal standard monitors are on the left on the right side. I start the program on the other monitor. Make a copy of the shown result and pass the result into my image editing program and what you can see there are text is missing. We can see only this is a test with a yes and no button and not the sentence are all buttons visible. So that means um, in a bad luck situation uh, very important text is missing and the user uh, makes the wrong choice. So that can lead to very serious problems. For that reason, I have developed a replacement for this message dialog. So let's add the pro uh, this unit uh, to this project here. This is the HS message dialog path. So then we add this unit to our project and only what is important that this unit stands at the end. Sometimes Delphi has a problem that it don't recognize the unit is not in the search pass. So I have to add it here for this moment. So again, it's important that this unit is behind the FMX dialog because it has um, also defined same uh, function names and also the show matches here uh, included so that it will be automatically replace um, this normal. So let's run this program and see what happens. Now we click into the button yes and no. So this is the dialog, how it looks. 
all is fine. And now we click to the second one. And now we have also the uh, yes, yes all and no buttons. So by the way, um, by default, English and German are the supported for button text, but you can change it by yourself. Simply setting the standard dialog set as language to two for English. And we run this program again. And now we have um, the heading and the buttons uh, in English. Yes, as I have mentioned, uh, we can also adjust the color of this heading here and uh, the color of the buttons and the text. And um, I will show you a short sample how it could look. For example, with styles, I have here my copy backup program and you can uh, set the colors like this. So, and I show you an another example. I start here for my program with what I create the help for my programs that I use in cross platform uh, situation. And if I want to remove this here, then we can see this dialogue, how it looks here. So you can see the colors are adjusted to this bar color on the left side. So it works very well together then here. So, and a short explanation how it works. This is a, a kind of master button, which is a rectangle and has a, a T label in it. And this will simply be duplicated when I cr create uh, other buttons. And here we have a vertical scroll bar and in it we have a label text. And the advantage of this is that the auto size option will activate it in the on show event. Then it is necessary to do it only here because um, if you do it on another place, uh, it will not work. And so the label grows and we can adjust the height of the dialogue. So if we have very long text, uh, the height of the dialog will be adjusted to a maximum that you can define. And if we have more text than the height of the dialog, there will be a scroll bar visible in this vertical scroll box and you can scroll text. Um, I can show you, you it for short in another program as a demo. So we have here a situation where I have select a long list of files to be to delete it. And you can see what happens as I, what I mentioned before, the uh, dialogue will be maximized to a given maximum height. And if we have more information, we can scroll through the text and we can see at least all the text here. And perhaps a short uh, explanation how you can add um, other languages. We have a um, L template string that has the uh, standard buttons uh, that are supported with a standard message dialog, uh, concrete order. And also the other language has to be also in the same order. And then the right words will be used for the dialog. The T dialog settings is a simple record where are some informations are saved about the language number, the button color, the button text color, the button stroke color, and the button click color when you click on it. And you have also here the, rec uh, the rectangle color, the uh, color of the, um, of the head back, if this is this color and the head text and here is the at max height variable you can set and here in the in the initialization section we have a um, initialization with a st some standard settings here and you can change 
this in your program like we have uh, seen here uh, when you start your program or also when you uh, change the styles for example so and how does it work um, here this normal message dialog calls the message dialog x and here are some help lists are created and the ok button which is uh, the master button will be set with some needed variables and if the yes or yes to all button in the in buttons then it will be created in the create button functions and this is simply done with the layout find style source function that is very helpful in FireMonkey. so that means this button what you can see here will be duplicated and we adjust it with needed uh, event handlers and of course the text for the buttons and align it to the left but we have first set the position to to 2000 that it will be not at the beginning but one after one button yeah i think the handling is very simple you don't need to understand what's going on here at least um, you have only to set these settings and you can use this dialog so i have simply made in my projects a search for the fmx dialogs and have add my unit after this dialog and all programs are fixed so that's a very easy measure to make your programs running right as you want it I've forgotten to mention um, another nice simple enhancement of this dialog. We can click with the right mouse button on the text and uh, we have the choice to say copy message into the clipboard and you can use then this text uh, in other programs or something like this. If you want to add other language you can um, change the text for the menu text here in the um, on pop-up event I have here already one uh, description for German and one for English so you can use this uh, dialogue for free you can download it from my homepage yeah have fun with it bye bye